All right, part one here that you find the surfaces that you're going to paint this tutorial with me. I got a canvas. So the color that I'm going to do, it's like a minty green. And I bought it already ready to go. This color, you can see I'm pulling in my palette. But if you're looking into making your own, it's like phthalo green with white. Okay, and I will have both of them in my Amazon idea list. So if you want to buy the green, right away you can but if you want to mix the colors it's also very easy so don't stress over i'm using a flat big brush here also it's going to be my idea list and when you do this flat brush i'm just making the you know the very normal brush strokes it doesn't need to be anything fancy if you think about an x that's how i'm going to do the brush stroke but you can see it's really messy this is basically you can use a sponge you can use the brushes you can make i'm just trying to make this um completely green you can do this in your own with different tools too but i'm using the flat big brush and i think you will like to use that too one of the things i like to do once i finish to cover the entire canvas is to add a little bit of white in the center as a touch of light so I always like to do that and you're going to see me using this. The painting that I'm using is acrylic, just so you know, so you can um, take a look. After this, after I finish my background, I'm going to let it dry, okay? But let's watch here this video and see afterwards how I apply the white. So the white is coming. You're adding this white. Look at this. I'm mixing first here. And then I'm going to add there. And I'm going to start right at the center. Messy, messy, messy right at the center. Okay, you're going to see me blend it. When you do this and the painting is still wet, it will blend really easy. So you don't have to stress about that. If you're having difficult blending, you can always add a little water in your brush and helps you blend a little bit too. That's a way of doing this in a more effective way too. But so far, so good. Let's see you doing it now. All right, this part two, now that I let my background completely dry, I'm coming with a very dark green. I'm using phthalo green with a little bit of black, okay? And I can, I'm going to have that color available for you on my idea list on Amazon. So when you do this, I'm making this green. I'm actually putting a little bit of that background green. And now I'm going to do a heart. So everybody, one side heart. Let's go to the next side. And one more side heart. Okay, if you have a hard time to do hearts, I'm going to show you. And teach you at the very end of this class some tips how to make a heart so if you notice here i'm using a round brush okay this is a round brush right now and i'm just getting this dark color and i'm pressing in to make that leaf look okay if you notice the leaf look it's not perfect it's just pressing in the brush and you get that leaf look and i'm just adding wrangling over the heart I was going to say over my heart, <laughs> over the heart. So I'm just going to add all those leaves. They are all dark, and that's part of the process of making this. All the leaves will be dark, and then you can feel it as much as you need that. As much as you need that, you can do that. You can fill it up with that dark green. And uh, I'm just going to let you do it now. you guys so now let's go ahead and add a little bit of that you know deep bright yellow into your painting what i'm doing right now it's i'm making a lighter color to do some highlights on my leaves 
So my leave process is always the same. I always start with very dark and then I add the highlights right on top of it. And you can see when I do the highlights, I try not to cover the whole thing. It's okay if you let it bland. I don't mind that at all. But it's very important that you add the highlights. The highlights that make it everything just so cute. Now, if you realize that you did it too light too many times, you can add a little bit of that dark color back in. But it, just trust the process. I think sometimes we just overcomplicate things, right? Let's trust the process and bring the light color on top of the dark that you got. All right, let's, let's your turn now. Let's see. See how beautiful it looks just with greens, just gorgeous. Ooh, love this. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so this is the final step for this um, painting here for Valentine's. So, here's what we're going to do now make a, I'm bringing here um, a dark pink, you can do that with red and black, and make a really dark red. And I'm making circles. If you look at I'm spacing out a little bit the circles and I'm just literally painting on top of the leaves so it's up to you if you want to let your leaves dry I recommend but you don't have to so I'm making the little circles come on line. it's circles let's do it circle it out and you're gonna see one more one more and do do completion of the circles now you see me adding a little bit of black in the center of the circle that's just to have a very dark, dark spot in the center. It's easier to do now than later, but you can always switch to another time. But I like this time. Now I'm making a really bright pink and I'm going to go right on top. Again, this pink came ready to go and I'll have that in my idea list on Amazon. But you can also make a pink. If you remember the color pink, it's red and white. But at this time, I wanted to use this specific pink because it's just so bright and beautiful. So, let's bring in, I will say this, if you want to bring a lot of paint, this is, will be the time. If you want to add texture, this will be the time. Take a look at my course that I have of the texture because I'll be covering how to use the texture in times like that. Now, let's continue our tutorial. Now that I'm circling, if you're noticing, I'm circling all around my little flowers. Now it's your turn. As a signature that everything that I do, I like to always make little flowers popping like they're flying and they are alive and they're moving. So there are little dodges that I like to touch on the screens. They're not right or wrong or there's no size for it. They are just simple little dots to make it look like the leaves are alive and well. So anyway, so I'm adding this. Now it's your turn. Okay, so let's go to this next thing. This next thing is bringing a lighter color to make the flower pop. You can now make a very lighter pink or you can also bring a little bit of the white. Usually I don't clean my brush at this time. 
I just add a little white to make it really bright and then you just look at this very gentle at this time you're gonna make just little little highlights in the same way that you already was was doing before the little brush strokes that is so 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 simple and I know you can do this after that you're gonna put a little dots in the center and your flower will be done how amazing is that Now I decided that something was missing when I was doing this painting and I feel like it needed to have a connector. So I would decide to make those little reefs, I like the little branches that comes in the reefs when we have them. So I'm making the little reefs around to make sure that it's part of my heart, securing the flowers. So that's what I'm doing, it's really simple. You can leave it blanket or you can do this with me, but I love how I did it and I love how they turn out. Thank you guys, we're getting into the end. Don't forget to subscribe and please comment if you like that. Share with your friends and family, it does help me a lot. And this is it, great job. I'm so proud of you and for the things that you tried to do today. Please share your picture with me, I would like to.